Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, we'll take a look at an add-on called Elementor Steroids by Oboy. Well, this is a relatively new add-on, but I find it really interesting. And best of all, it doesn't add any widgets or any bloat, but rather fields where you can do some crazy CSS stuff with your Elementor sections, columns and widgets. So in WordPress repo, search for Elementor Steroids, search for it, install and activate. It's this one, Oboy Steroids for Elementor install and activated so once you have it active on your site open up any elementor page post or template so the first extension is called breaking bad and click on any column and you'll find that option well if you don't find that option click on the section that has this column and enable breaking bad once you do you can simply go to any column and what this essentially will let you do is to have a custom width for your column well by default elementor just has this percentage width for your column but what if you want to change it relative to viewport or maybe anything else you have to write custom css and this is where it comes handy it can be any css unit so i can say 300 pixels or i can say 200 pixels you can see this column is scaled to 200 pixels i can also specify any css unit so i can say 20 vw which is relative to viewport width so it's 20 times or 20% of the entire viewport width or the screen width. This is just to make it responsive. Let's do the same with three columns. So for this column, I can specify a width of maybe 50 VW. For this, maybe 10 VW. And this is only possible with CSS and it allows us to do CSS stuff. So this is 20 VW. Let's do that with this column as well. So I'll say 20 VW and you can see now the columns are scaled based on the units. You can use any unit, pixels, ends, it doesn't matter. And even better, you can also change the height of your column with this baking bad feature. Well, columns in Elementor get the height from the content within based on their widths, margins, paddings, they, they get flexible. And if you want to specify a particular height, you can enable this and let's enable a height for this column i'll click on this column i'll go to height i'll say 200 pixels and since we specified a fixed width you may have to contain this content within this column so you can check this box and now that content can only be found by scrolling through this particular column so that's really neat so this is how it works let's change it to maybe around 300 pixels and now you can see the scrolling box so that's what the first feature in breaking bad does and since we've resized our columns you may also want to reposition the columns within a section so click on the section and within breaking bad you can also align columns so you can center them out you can align them onto the end so that's really neat and that's the first feature in this elementor steroids add-on the second feature is called poo part <laughs> It's kind of funny, but that's the name. You can click on any widget and under advanced tab, you'll have this particular feature. What this essentially will allow you to do is to have an overlay and underlay, and these can be changed based on zindex's values. So maybe for overlay, I can pick a gradient. Let's do that. And you can see I've picked this image and it adds that neat little animation. Let's put that overlay on top of this. So I'll say Z index 200. And you can see that effect right there now you can also add another element underlay i'll add a classic one i'll actually pick my logo and this is a good way to watermark your images and also show you how useful it is you can change the size repeat position so i'll just change the size to a custom one fixed and position center center yeah that way you can put your logo on top of your image and even better you can use a blend mode for all of this. So you can say screen and you can see how easy it is to watermark your images and add special effects with these overlay and underlay. And you can upload SVG images or SVG files to your image and use them to get neat little effects using CSS. Basically these are CSS elements. So I'll just right click this, I'll copy, I'll prove that with an example and watch what happens. When I choose this widget or let's choose a widget that is big. When I choose this widget and right click and if I paste style, 
it gets all the elements from that particular widget meaning these are all css all of the things in this add-on are css so you can simply copy and paste style between elements on the same page or any other page in elementary so that's poo part and it allows you to have overlays and underlays and also mix them together to get interesting effects on your images and even better i'll update this i'll preview the changes on the front end and this poop art extension or the feature will also let you disable right click on your images since it's a pseudo element you won't be able to click on your image so this is also a great way to prevent right click on your images so if I right click on this image, there is no save image option right here. So along with these uh, blend modes, you can also pick position, size. So there are a lot of controls for it. So you can offset top of each of the overlay and underlay elements to create interesting effects. You can add custom border radius. So if I click on this, you can add unlink the values and add custom border radius to add custom shapes, custom gradient masks, shape masks, right? All that stuff. So it's really powerful and I told you it disables the right click. So I'll just disable overlay and underlay. I'll update now and now there is no overlay or underlay. I'll right click and you can see that I now get the save image as option. But when I turn back or when I turn on these overlay and underlay options, I won't be able to right click because they're acting as a screen between the right click and the image so that way you can also prevent your uh, images also add interesting effects using this overlay and underlay so that's the second feature in elementor steroids add-on next feature is to rotate text so whenever you have text in elementor you might want to rotate it horizontally or vertically it's quite easy with this add-on i taught you how to do that with css so i'll click on this text i'll click on style and down here there's this extension and it says writing mode and you can also change it per device so that's really neat so i can simply say vertical lr and the text is rotated and positioned that way so you can choose this you can also choose to flip the text so it appears like that just the way you want also you can choose the height from here so maybe you can pick this much height the way you want it you can rotate the text just with click of a button that's really neat the fourth feature is called overlays it's visible from here it's available to all the background overlays of each section and column. So in order to achieve overlapping columns or overlapping images, you would typically use two image widgets side by side, change their margins and stuff. But instead, you can use one image as the image background or the background of the widget itself. And the second image can come from the overlay. And this overlays add-on lets you tweak the width of the overlay and it also lets you ch change the x position y position you can see i can just move it around here i can also change the blend mode from here so achieving overlapping columns is just a breeze with this overlays feature the last feature is called paginini i don't know these weird names uh, you can see anything any widget in elementor that has pagination inherits the styles from your theme or you may have to do custom css for it but with this you can simply pick a background you can see the background for the entire pagination row i can use padding that's too much maybe maybe a 10 pixel padding see that you can also change just basic uh, styling so you can also change the background color of each element let's also add so something like that some basic styling let's also add or increase the margin and padding page number padding let's increase that to 10 pixels 10 percent is too much so something like that so you can achieve custom styling for your pagination using this feature of elementor steroids so those are the five features found in elementor steroids by oh boy i heard that they're making more like this more features like this these are really helpful and things that no other add-on is making so that's really powerful best of all it's all free you can download it from wordpress repository just search for elementor steroids and it's available good work i think i may be using it in my future projects let's see how that works out that's it for now that's a quick overview of elementor steroids stay tuned for the next one see you peace